In today's video, I'm going to show you how I reset or that is reinstall Windows 10 on a PC that already has Windows 10 on it. So if you've watched my channel before, you know that I like to build or upgrade old office PCs and make them into little budget gaming PCs. After I test them out, I usually will sell them or I'll give them to a friend or a family member. And when I do that, I need to reset Windows and totally just reset it for that new person who's going to get the PC. Technically, these older PCs don't support Windows 11. However, there are ways to install Windows 11 if you'd like. I usually stick with Windows 10, though. The PC I'm using here is an Optiplex Mini PC with a 4th Gen i7 processor. Okay, so let's get started. So you're going to go to the Start button and look for Settings. And from here, you are going to look for Update and Security. And from here, you're going to look for Recovery. Click on Recovery. And here, you're going to hit Reset this PC, Get Started. Option I'm going to choose here is to Remove Everything. All right, after here, it's going to give you two options. How would you like to reinstall Windows? I'm going to choose Local Reinstall. Um, here, it's going to say Additional Settings. And I'm going to click uh, Change Settings. And you got two options here, uh, Clean Data. I'm going to click Yes for here. And I don't need to re-download Windows, so that's going to stay as no. And then after that, click Confirm. And now we can click Next. It's going to say Getting Things Ready. Ready to reset this PC. It's just going to review everything here, and you're going to click Reset. Now, this process will take a while, so I will fast forward through some of this part. And now it's going to start the reset process. And again, I'm going to fast forward through this part as well. And now you'll see at this point, it's actually uh, installing Windows. And again, this is going to take some time, so just be patient. And once it's done, it will restart or reboot the PC. All right, now at this point, you just go through the normal uh, things you have to do when you reinstall Windows. You're going to select your region. Um, you're going to select your keyboard layout. I'm in the US, so I'm going to click US. I don't have an additional second keyboard, so I'm going to skip this part.
And at this point, you have to accept the Windows 10 license agreement. And for my situation, I'm going to click personal use. And right now I'm just going to click uh, offline account. I don't want to like Microsoft getting any of my information. As far as naming the PC, that's up to you, but uh, I'm going to skip this part. I'm going to leave it blank. Now, for always have access to recent browsing data, I'm going to put no or not now. And for the privacy settings, I like to just click no on um, everything here. And then I'm going to hit accept. If you don't know what it is, just hit no. Uh, customize experience. I'm going to skip this part. I'm not going to choose to use Cortana. And at this point, you should be good to go. It'll just take a few more minutes at this point. I'll just fast forward through some of this part. And there you go. That's it. I got Windows 10 reinstalled onto this PC. Uh, any of the games I had on it or um, any programs, uh, it's just a fresh install of Windows 10. So I'm just going to make sure everything looks good before I give this to someone. Now, when you open up Microsoft Edge, it's going to ask you about syncing your data. I don't like to do that. If you don't know what understand what it means, just hit no, uncheck it, and hit no. Uh, I don't care about Microsoft Rewards. I'm going to skip. So everything looks good. The last thing I'd like to do is just restart or reboot the PC one time just to make sure it uh, everything looks good and there's no issues with restarting the PC. And if that's good, then um, I'm good to go. So that's going to be it for this video. If this video was helpful to you, please hit that like and subscribe button. I would appreciate it. Thanks for watching.